Hello and welcome to another video on Inkscape, a free open source vector graphics editor. To learn where you can download a copy and how to use it, click on the link in the top right hand corner of the screen. If you find this video helpful, then help us by giving a like and subscribing to the channel. Remember to hit the bell icon so you're notified when we release new videos. So in the video today I'm going to take a look at how we can thicken text. A common problem when we're designing for our projects, whether it's for Cricut, whether it's for print on demand goods or logo designs, is that some of the fonts have very thin letters. So this is a way we can thicken them up easily. And the method we're using will preserve the sharp corners on our text. So at the moment I've just written this text so we can go in, we can select the text tool, we can come up, we can select this, we can edit our text as we like. This method will convert your text to a path so it'd be no longer editable using the text tools. So before you um, thicken your text you need to make sure that you've got it how you want it. So to thicken our text we're going to come up, we're going to get our selection tool, we're going to come down, we're going to select the text that we want to thicken. We're going to go up to path and we're going to come down, we want offset. So if you look over on the right hand side here it says control close bracket. So this is our keyboard shortcuts, this is what we're going to use. So if we come off, while it's selected, we can hold down our control key, press zero for the close bracket, and it'll thicken our font. Now we can keep thickening it as much as we want, but you'll notice it's all starting to blur. If you just suddenly decide that you've gone too far, what you want to use is either the arrow up here to step back through your actions, so it undoes the actions that you've carried out, or you can use Control Z. Now that we've thickened our text a little bit, if we come in with the Nodes tool, we can see that it's now a path. Each one has its own path surrounding it with all the nodes. If you get our text tool, it no longer recognises it as text, so we can't click into it anymore. We can do the same with this one. We do this one so we can so we use control close bracket and we can see if we zoom in that it's preserved the sharp corners of our text, which is exactly what we want it to do. So that's how you can quickly and simply increase the thickness of your text. So this method of thickening our text works by converting our text to a path and then we expand that path by two pixels in all directions, or at least two pixels is the default setting. We can actually uh, change how much it steps in, in and out each time. But if we go up to, the, on the top here, we've got a little spanner and a screwdriver, which takes us into our global preferences. So if we click on this, it'll open up a dialog box. If we go down to behavior, click on the triangle before behavior, um, scroll down a little bit and in here we've got steps so if we click on steps so in here we've got inset outset by at the moment it's set to two pixels we can change this to whatever we want so if you wanted smaller steps we could just change this to say one pixel and that'd be one pixel steps so if we clicked on this press control D it increases it by one pixels instead of two um, that's pretty good but when you're working on small writing you'll find that these steps will distort your text so the best way and probably the simplest way to deal with this is just to expand the size of your design I'll write some fresh text that's small so we can demonstrate text so we've got this in size 10 font we've got our steps We've got our step set to one pixel. We're going to get our selection tool, select it, and then we're going to do control close bracket. And as we can see, it completely distorts our text, which you might better use in some cases, but for most people that's, yeah, no good. So what we're going to do instead of that is we're control Z to back step to where we were, so we're back to text. If we zoom out a little bit, we select our text, 
we're hold down control to constrain the proportions and then we're going to drag out our text so it's a better size perhaps drag it down this way a bit control and drag out the corner so now our text is a lot bigger so now when we do control close bracket the steps are a lot smaller and it preserves these sharp corners and everything stays looking a lot sharper. You do get some distortion if you look in the corner of this E. Oh, no, let's back step see if it was there before. Yeah, so in the corner of this E here, it's nice and sharp at the moment. But if we control close bracket, oh, sorry, hold on it. Let's click on it. Control close bracket, we get a, a slight bit of distortion here. You do get these little bits of distortion, but on the whole, it works pretty well. So you can always expand your text, adjust it, so that the thickness is how you want it, and then you can just hold down your control and shrink it back down to the size you want. So I think that covers everything I wanted to talk about in this tutorial. If there's anything I've missed out that you can think of, or you've got any questions, please comment below and I'll get back to you. Thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next video.